In this video, I'm going to show you how to sculpt miniature bananas with polymer clay and acrylic paint. So I'm going to start out by making a banana that's being peeled. And the peel is just some yellow clay and some white clay. And they're going to be basically put on top of each other. Then I cut out these long oval shapes, which are the little peels. I used an off-white color for the banana, and I'm just shaping it, and now I'm going to wrap the peels around the banana. I found that three peels works best, four is Four usually won't fit. Three is usually a good size. If you have four, um, they may be too skinny. I use my fingers to smooth the edges together and then to peel down or fold down the little peels. Then I cut off the end of the banana and I used a needle tool to give texture to the inside of the peel and the banana. So after I made that banana, I figured it would be kind of cool to make just the peel with no banana in it. So I got three more little slivers of the yellow and white clay and then I pieced them together only at one end. And then I kind of folded them into a dome kind of at the tip. I also used a little silicone shaping tool to keep the shape of a banana at the bottom and you can see that helps a lot. Now I'm just going to add more texture to the banana peel and I found that dragging the needle tool down and giving lines helps it to be a little more realistic. So to make just a banana is really easy, you just want to take some yellow clay and then of course, make the ends much thinner. Trim with a blade to make them even, and then of course, um, bake them. I baked all of these pieces for about 20 minutes at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, if you're using Sculpey, you want to be careful because um, Sculpey translucent clay um, tends to burn really easily so it'll turn everything a really brownish color if you don't watch it in the oven so just be careful um, if you're using Sculpey because you want to keep the colors pretty light and now I'm just using some black clay to add little um, dots and kind of pigmentation I guess to the banana to make it look like it's a little aged then I'm going to use some lime green or really bright green um, acrylic paint to paint the tip and the edges and the sides kind of of the banana to make it look a little bit young and old at the same time and don't forget if you decide to make anything from a video please send me the pictures I'd love to see it so I hope you guys love this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one